Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Shino, and this is uh, episode seven of a Vintage Story playthrough. So, last episode, uh, we did a little bit of exploring. Um, I am over back over by the trader. Um, found a lot of interesting stuff. I'm, well, I marked it on the map. We're going to go over it here, but um, I came here to do some hunting. You remember last episode, I talked about how this looked like it would be a good hunting ground, and it was. So, I've, I've killed actually two. Uh, rams over in this area um, and they were able to get me some fat so we're starting to see some fat coming on the animals and 18 pieces of meat from that um, I killed a wolf too but I just don't have any space in my inventory right now for his goodies um, you can see I've been doing a lot of walking I got some more terra preta uh, funny story true story on that one it was underneath the other terra, pet, uh, terra preta that I dug up for our garden um, I just didn't dig deep enough down. So, uh, still more Terra Preta there. Um, so let's go dump this off. Um, we're going to head back over to our home and it is, um, three o'clock in the afternoon and zero. So interesting. This is, uh, we're beginning to see some melting going on. Um, there's just a pig. Um, oh, and that, that reminds me. Yeah, we got to go over and look at the, uh, at the uh, animal trap too uh but look how green everything is look at the trees look how green they are oh had a heat wave zero degrees was fantastic and <laughs> uh no this is this has actually been fantastic um a lot of stuff i want to get done in this episode uh so we're just going to take a few minutes just to kind of go over um what's happened between episodes one like i said we're going to talk about we're starting to see some melting take place um i did kill the wolf that was over here um we saw at the end of the last episode um she was kind of uh running over in this area here um actually ran into her on the other side and uh killed another one too so there were several wolves that were over in this area uh, so killed two over here. Um, found did several bits of hunting while I was out in this area. So yeah, food supply we're actually doing really good. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but that's just because I have been uh, out running um, almost continuously. So and I ran out of food. But I want to show you something. Um, I came by, it's actually been several days. So let's go back to the map or go back to the calendar. It's March 14th. Um, look how green it's fantastic and you can start to see the the ground starting to melt here it's fantastic uh, starting to see we saw butterflies last episode uh, anyways uh, piggy and a couple of uh, little piglets so uh, actually the piglets I chased in um, piglets will run away the small animals will run directly away from you oh and we got a ram in here now um, but piglets will run uh, directly away from you. So I saw the piglets uh, with their sow out over here um, on the other side of this tree. And so I made a big loop and I came back in and ran directly behind them. And of course, they ran straight away from me up over the hill and right into it. Um, so not not hard uh, at all to get them in there. Uh, the sow just wandered in on her own. Um, so that's fantastic. Uh, let's see what else um, and let's get back over here we'll we'll talk about some more stuff that's going on and uh, I have been fighting kind of a little bit of a uh, uh, cold um, that's been going on no fever it ain't the Rona uh, yeah this is where all that Terra Preta was and I just didn't dig deep deep enough um, oh the jittering in my screen that is not from cold. Uh, we're going to talk about that too. Um, I think I may have found out what it is and I'm going to be doing some testing just to make sure. But this is what I was noticing prior to everything kind of going all uh, hickledy-pickledy on me. 
um, and we had to release or we had to uh, back out the last uh, the world we had to reset the computer so um, I think we may have an idea of what's going on here so let me oops Doug two get down here and let's get this back up in its place one there and one there okay um let's see so let's talk about uh the the jitteriness in the screen i'm going to test it uh but there is i slowly uh put in uh several of the mods that i've been using uh, we have carry capacity mod back in, uh, which is good. Um, let's get some food cooking. Oh, I'm sorry, yammering. Um, and need some. What's going on here? Ah, look, I'm out of storage space. I wish there was a way I could fix that. Oh, here's something I can do. Uh, we talked about doing this before so let's get this done so we're going to take that we're going to make our basket we do that or not our basket our bag increase our storage space all right so there's a bag uh you guys remember the little trick i showed you so we're going to go down here we can take a look and we can see we got the feathers and the granite cobblestone so we're going to drop them over here into that slot pull that out of our inventory uh, put our bass there put our bag down into it and increase our spots and now we can put those back into our inventory and there we go um, so uh, there's one part of it so now let's get our sorry guys I I I'm kind of noticing I'm just getting the attention span of a retribution paladin in World of Warcraft right now so uh, a lot of stuff kind of got one on that I want to kind of get done in this episode and uh, so I'm finding myself jumping around here. So let's take this one step at a time. Okay. There's that. Let's get some food going because I'm starting to starve. Um, I did. I was having some trouble getting um, sticks. Um, so I did make my flint knife and use a bone uh, for it. Um, I went around and I gathered up all of the ore vessels that were around me. Um, and yielded quite a bit. Now, that copper did not all come from those. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. I want to get some food in my belly here. Um, I actually did find some surface copper. Um, praise the Lord, pass the biscuits. That has been one of the things that's been really bugging me is not finding any um, surface ore. Um, so I did find some. So let's go to the map real quick. And talk about some things that I found. So I do have, I found a really nice cave over here um, that has um, uh, andesite and chalk and granite and uh, um, the orange rock. Gosh dang it, I can't think of what it's called. A uh, bauxite, sorry. Um, so I did find that cave down there. So that's going to be my primary quarry area. And what's nice is a small opening that leads underground. This is where we were just hunting at. Uh, that's where that wolf is at uh, that I'm going to go back and get. Um, but it's just a small opening. Uh, trader is right here. Um, cave's right there. And there is that arena. So we're going to turn that into kind of like a uh, another operating location. Um, or a storage facility, a warehouse, whatever you want to call it, a hunting lodge. We're going to turn that into something usable. Um, and then we'll be able to quarry a lot of our stone out of that location. Look at the melting taking place, guys. Look at that. See it? You can actually see the snow disappearing off of it. Uh, it is three degrees. Uh, love it. Okay, let's get some more food. Um, but I did find some cur uh, surface copper num 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 um and i'm gonna zoom out and it is here and here um not able to get it yet uh, but i was able to get from what i found that area i was able to get 20 um pieces of copper nuggets so i can make my first ingot uh, anybody who's been with me knows 
I really need to go for two. You need two ingots to begin with. Uh, one of them is for your pick and one is for your hammer. The other obstacle that I'm facing right now is clay. Um, I cannot see clay uh, in my immediate vicinity so far. Um, with the melting going on, that's going to change. That's going to be great. But what I was doing when I was exploring is I was running along these hills um, and these little crevasses and things that I could see to see if under the snow layer exposed on the outside edge of the um, hills, I could see clay, exposed clay. Um, typically, you know, you can see clay pretty easily on the map when it's not snow covered and that's one of the the points that i made in my previous series is you want to make sure that you, when you find those uh in the spring and summer that you go ahead and mark them with a pen you're not going to be able to see those in the winter i.e look at this right here you know you don't know what is immediately in this area you can't see so marking that with a pen um, in the summertime will allow you to see it on the surface in the winter. Um, so just a little tip for you um, from that. Oh, look over here. See, I didn't I didn't look at the map as moving out, but I did see on one of these hills over here. Uh, I, I went around, uh, not around the lake, but I um, came down along this edge of the lake and came up around, did some exploring. And uh, I did see on the cliff face, I saw some sandstone as well. Um, and, and I mentioned I like to use uh, a bunch of different stones when I'm building. Okay, that is a, enough of that. Let's get some more food in my belly. And there we go. Um, I'm going to, yeah, let's go ahead and cook the rest of this up. Um, uh, I end up losing, um, I'm down to one spear now. Um, when I was killing that uh, wolf, uh, I had a, actually had two break on me. All right. Go away, snow. Okay. Let's go down into our cellar. And uh, just to show you, uh, doing really good. A lot of hunting has been taking place between episodes. Um, I did not, as you saw, did not have to uh, kill um, any of my um, captured creatures. Um, so that is fantastic. I am up to six pieces of fat. I'm glad to see that. Uh, seeds are doing really well. Um, you'll look at my inventory. Um, I grabbed out the flax seeds and the turnip seeds. I did that on purpose, hoping that I can do some planting today. Um, so I made a new hoe for that. Um, there is the additional terra preta. Um, so that's one of the things that I would like to get done in this episode. And let's see, what else do we need to do? We see we made our storage bag. Um, I think that's really about it. What time is it getting to be? Nine o'clock at night? Okay. Uh, I'm going to cut out here for just a moment. I'm going to pause the video, uh, let the night go by, then uh, we'll come back, and we're going to go out and start working in the fields. So talk to you soon. All right, we're back. Um, it got to right at negative 10. Um, so um, with most, um, with the exception of parsnips, uh, which have a, a lower temperature, um, most crops uh, will go to negative five. Um, for example, we're looking at the flax seeds here, and you can see cold resistant until negative five degrees Celsius, uh, heat resistant until 40 degrees Celsius, uh, and then for the turnip seeds, uh, negative five and, <clears throat> and 27. So uh, what this means for us is um, planting these crops um, currently now, um, they'll have uh, stunted growth. So we are not going to plant yet, um, but we are going to go ahead and lay down the terra preta that we need in here. And I don't have a shovel. So let's go get a shovel. And... Uh, 
I'm going to save my sticks. For making our shovel. Now, um, I do, because uh, I do a lot of the gardening, um, and I supplement um, my, I fertilize the fields. Um, and so I will use bone meal. I'm going to grind up these bones. Um, nope, I thought you could do that with this bone as well. Hmm. I don't know. It's only for the axe and for the knife. And a, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll have to use a stick then. Uh, but I, I like to use the bones uh, for that. So, um, am I going crazy? There it is. And the answer to that question is always yes. You know, it's always going crazy. Okay. And you see the cows. Um, so we did get, like I said, we did get the rest of the mods installed. Um, carry capacity mod is in uh medieval expansion mod um and uh the better crates uh more chests or ex extra chests i think is what's called um so yeah we do have those okay i hear a drifter Sound seems to be, game sound seems to be pretty low, but I thought I heard a drifter just now. Hmm. Interesting. It does seem like my audio is pretty low, doesn't it? So I got 36. Terra Preta is um, the best soil that you can get for in the game uh, for growing your crops on. Um, it has uh, a higher uh, nutrient value. Uh, you'll see it's 80, 80, 80 in, in your NPK. And NPK is your normal. Um, anybody who does gardening or lawnscaping knows NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Um, and then your, uh, it talks about your, your growth speed, um, is at 120%. So your, your crops will grow faster, um, on Terra Preta. And, uh, if you look at your, um, seeds, it will tell you that the nutrient consumption for it to, to go to full maturity, uh, for flax is 50. Um, so if you've got, um, if you have, you know, 80% nitrogen, um, you're going to end up consuming a good chunk of that. Now, it is not, it does not mean that it'll go down to 30% in the nitrogen. Um, I've, I've watched this and witnessed it before. Usually that nitrogen consumption when you're doing the flax um, on Terra Preta, it'll go from 80% down to like 50%. Um, and then you'll be able to plant another harvest of it. So you can usually get to um, harvest um, before you have to supplement or rotate your crops. But um, I think we all, uh, who's in this game, I think we pretty much all just do the crop rotation uh, on it. Uh, I will tend to, when I do my large fields, um, I'll have um, uh, about a, a 32 by 8 area that I'll have set up for um, uh, each one of my fields. And um, I'll have 
uh, usually five of those going. Um, so I'll have one that will be setting fallow um, and supplemented, one that will be just uh, setting fallow after it's been supplemented. And, um, and then I'll have another one that, and then the other three will be in, in uh, work. So uh, we'll get to see that here. Hopefully, um, we'll get an opportunity to see that here in the next episode or two. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired of hunting. And I am going to start focusing my attention on trying to get my metals. I'm ready to start doing some mining, getting some stone, and starting to do some building uh, in this area. And uh, so that's why I've been trying to put as much attention as possible on trying to get, um, trying to find clay. So here we go. You can see that snow. Uh, you'll see the snow depth change randomly. It'll decrease. So uh, it's a good indication of the melt being taking place. Um, let's see. And it says that rainfall is common in this area, so uh, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have to do some irrigation in this area. So, here we go. And I want to go back. I want to see if that wolf carcass is still there. I want to try to harvest him. There's another bull. Uh, I had mentioned this uh, uh, previously about the the expansion, um, the medieval expansion mod. So uh, that's where the cows are generated from. So looking forward to that part of the animal husbandry as well. Um, and again, you know, this is where when I talked about doing a lot of. Um, Um, a lot of leather working. Uh, that's where that's going to come from. And yep, looks like it's still there. Good. Or it's a new one. Ha! Ah, nope, it's dead. Ooh, awesome. Take advantage of this situation too. See if there's any meat. Nope, okay. So negative four, I mean, we're right on the cusp of uh, of being able to start planting. I mean, it's very close, and I'm very tempted to uh, to put it down. But uh, um, in this game, just like in, in normal life, haste makes waste. Uh, if I were to plant the seeds and then they popped and we lost the seeds, I would feel bad about that. Now, being in a world, you know, being the only person in this world, um, I have access to all these crops, so it wouldn't be hard for me to get the seeds back, but um, that's just wastefulness. I don't want to do that, so get a good look around up here, see if there's any more wolves. I don't know if I checked ore vessel on this one. That's usually contains an ore vessel, so I may have already got it. would appear yeah it looks like i already got that one okay all right folks hey that's going to do it for this episode i uh, appreciate you being along with me uh, not quite as much uh, uh, 
hunting and things like that in this one. I'm trying to trying to get it so we're going to break up the monotony and try to get something accomplished in each one. Uh, I got to start moving this series forward, don't we? Uh, sometimes it's you know when you when you're facing these obstacles like a, a heavy winter. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, I have the attention span of a paladin, but that's just fantastic. Um, anyways, I appreciate it. Uh, you guys being along with me, I want to keep this series moving along. So I'm going to try to set up a couple of, uh, ideas of what to get done in each episode, set up a kind of a checklist. So we can move along. Uh, like I was going to say with the winter being honest and, and set up for survival only, um, it slows things down a little bit. So, uh, I'm ready to move things along. So, uh, next episode or between episodes, uh, I'm going to keep doing some forage crop gathering, going to keep doing some hunting, keeping myself alive. Um, going to keep gathering up as many resources as I can. Uh, definitely got to find some uh, more, uh, or got to find some clay, uh, and got to find some more copper. So uh, I know last episode I said if I had to break down and uh, pan for my copper, I was just going to end the episode. Um, but I may have to do that. So between episodes, uh, I may be, um, looking for some copper, um, by going through and, uh, and doing some more panning. Let's see. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you next time. Take care.